Hey everybody, my name is Miller Miller, and today we're playing a game called Satisfactory. Now, this is not my first time playing, because if you look over here, you'll see I have a couple saves. One of which has 216 hours, the other one has a couple hours. This one has 150 hours, so I have played this game a lot before, but this is my first time playing Update 4. So, with the recent release of Update 4, well, it wasn't recent, but it just came to early access now, but with that recent release, I decided it's a good time to start a new series on my channel, and I absolutely love Satisfactory. As you saw, I spent I spent so many hours in this game, and I'm ready to put so many more hours into it, so let's go. If you're wondering what's new, uh, they added drones, they added some nuclear things, they added this big thing, which I don't know what that does. And a couple small things, like zip lines and a hover pack, which is pretty cool. If you know the game, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know the game, don't worry, we'll get there. Oh, and lights, they added lights. Lights are insanely helpful. Okay, anyway, session name. We need a session name. I'm just gonna go with Milo Milo. And for the area, this is where I always begin. The Rocky Desert. I don't really know where this place is, but it says suitable for first-time pioneers. That's not me. Good for experienced, recommended for advanced. Um, initially considered too risky for the investigation has convinced us that this area is viable for building with its large open space and plentiful mining locations. Fallage and water locations are rare and contained, making initial power setups challenging. So I know this area, it's great for building giant factories which is good for long term, but in the start it's really difficult to get biomass, so I think I think this is a good challenge. I've never started yet before, so let's do it. Also I'm not going to skip the intro, I want to see the intro. And also for you first time players, seeing the intro will be pretty helpful. I've got a feeling it's the same intro though. <laughs> but either way, it's a really good intro. I haven't seen it for a while. Attention Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Wonderful. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Okay, I, I've got that. That's the whole point of the game. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired Yeah, we don't have time for that. Exploit, yes, we can do that. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. I don't care about exploration, I just want to exploit the planet. Expand your factories, outposts and pipelines yes, okay. through automation and augmentation. I'm not watching this, I actually know all this stuff. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Thank you. I just want to. I just want to destroy the planet. I want to. Planet fall imminent. Uh -oh. Please remain uh -oh. seated during full procedure. I just want to exploit the entire planet and kill every living being. Oh, it's subnautical all over again. Why are we falling so long? Why can't I see anything that's happening? How hard is the fall going to be? Oh, it's peaceful, never mind. Oh, look at that! Blue sky? And glitchy... stuff? I don't know. <laughs> What's that tool? I think that's the constructor or something. Wow! I've never landed yet before. I've hardly seen the desert, come to think of it. Oh, what a peaceful landing. Epic, okay. Frick yeah! Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Mm-hmm. Oh, everything, all the animations in the game are so beautiful. Remember, efficiency first. Oh, this looks That's dead. Efficiency first, got it, okay. Yeah, that's my construct constructed tool or something. Oh, this place is dead. What's that? Oh, this place is... Oh, this place is Welcome so dead. <gasps> Look at that, I got footprints! That's so cool. Okay, I don't care about you, Ada. I, I just want to... Also known as artificial directory mm -hmm. assistant, task to support pioneers yeah. such as you okay. your mission. I know what to do, don't you worry. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. The third? But there's two other people who did this? Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. Oh. Starting pod, okay. First I kind of know what to do, don't worry. Please dismantle the drop pod. Uh, I can do that, thank you. I can do this. She's gonna keep talking, isn't she? All important fix it data. Thank you. Uh, yeah, come to think of it, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna skip the intro. You guys saw the intro, you know what's going on. And there we go! Is Ayn right here? 
And there's a uh, enemy right there. Look at all these things they give me. Damn. Stop. I hate these things. Thank you. Already nearly dead. Okay, the hub. Gonna put it right over there. Perfect. If you don't know how the nodes work, pure gives you like three iron per hit. Normal gives you like two and impure gives you one. As you can see, this is pure, so you get three per hit, yeah. And then that just that just means that you harvest it quicker with miners and stuff. These are portable miners, which are really cute. Oh, look at that. Look at little guy. Little, little robot guy. Then he absolutely kills the land. He just drills right through it. And then he collects all these things. Yeah, as you can see, it's really fast. 80 per minute. Insane. Uh, do we have production? We do have all these things already. Okay. So, let's... Let's see what we need to focus on over here. Over here, base building. This is just foundations and stuff if we want to build a factory. Do I want to build a factory in this video? I think we should just get the basics down. Logistics, that would be inside the base building. And field research would be the MAM. Yeah, that's pretty helpful. Then at tier 2 we have... It's more... Yeah, it's pretty much all factory. Except for this. The awesome sink and awesome shop. I think the lights and stuff are in the awesome shop. I don't know. That might kind of suck. Um, so everything just builds off of base building. This thing's probably full already, isn't it? Yeah, almost, okay. Where's the nearest limestone? Cause concrete... Oh no. Oh no, 400 meters, 300 meters. Oh, that kind of sucks. Look at this guy. He wants to catch these, these zaps. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. That's what I thought. Yeah, I'll punch you. <laughs> that was much easier. Okay, there's copper right Yeah, This is copper right Yeah, But it's a normal node, which means instead of getting... For example, 80 per minute, you only get 40 per minute, which is half, which kind of sucks, but it'll have to do for now. Oh, there's some green stuff over here. There is biomass options, okay. And there's a little river as well. You probably can't build water extractors in here, definitely not. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Oh, he's stuck in a rock. He's not stuck in a rock. No, I got him. Okay, so this is a normal node, of course, but since this is pretty far away, I'm gonna drop two portable miners on this normal node, so that when I come back, we have a lot more. This is the big grind of the game, holding spacebar down. It's just the early stages, though, until you, pretty much until you get a good source of, of power. Once, once you've got the, the coal power running, you're pretty good. But for now, while we don't even have power, and even for the biomass stages, it's gonna be a lot of grinding. Look at the heat waves. Look at, like, the heat distortion over there. That's so cool. I love the desert area. My new favorite place. Oh, we've got these things right in the back. Okay, we can automate iron, I guess. But I think we would want to automate limestone for now. So what do we need? We need a miner for the limestone. And then do you just go straight to constructing? I think so. And then to power it, we need a biomass burner. And then we need some belts, which aren't too bad. And we need one of these. So there you can see we've got a to-do list of all the things we need to create all those things, which isn't too bad. Okay, then another thing we'll need is a craft bench so we can craft things there. Okay, now that we're here, we can start setting up the process. So first we need a craft bench to craft all these things. Next we need a portable miner, so I'm just going to pick these up. And next we need some concrete, which I don't have, but I can make quickly. And now we can start with the miner on this thing. I'm going to point it that way, because I want to have all my storages and stuff this side. And then with the miner it goes into the constructor, I believe. We go into the storage container. And that's a very simple setup. Now we just need power for this, so we take the biomass burner and we take it to a power pole. And we then connect it up to the buildings. And now we need to create some um, biomass, which is the fuel you use to burn. And then with biomass, we just chuck it into yeah, 10 per minute. I don't know how long it's going to take to run out. But now hopefully this should be mining 60 per minute, okay. And this takes 45 per minute, so it's kind of going to stack up a bit, but that's fine. And once that goes through... Oh wow, Mark 1 belts are terrible. Then it comes out as beautiful concrete, there we go. And then it stacks up in this container, perfect. That should help with the base building. Now we can focus on some other things. I want to automate all three of these for now and let's start with copper right here. So first we need a miner and for a miner we need some more concrete. Luckily we have the concrete. <gasps> it shows the distance now. That's new. That's pretty cool. So you can just see how far something is from by pointing at it. That's so cool. So yeah, we need concrete from this automated 
Auto automatic. So, <laughs> what am I saying? Automated. That is very slow. 15 per minute. Yeah. Well, there's not much I can do about it now. Okay, now we can put a miner on top of this copper area. And then from that, we need a different strategy. We need a smelter. So then all of that stuff comes into the smelter, which looks a lot smaller than what I remembered. I haven't played for a while though, so that could be why. And then out of the smelter, we go into, well, different things depending on what we want. So for now, we can set the smelter to just make ingots. And then what is, what is the biggest thing we need to make right now? I think that would be the space elevator. Yeah. Okay, that's the biggest grind. And that's 1,500 copper wire. Let's focus on that. Let's focus on that for the video. I just want to get a space elevator. Okay, and for that we would need a constructor. Is this even lining up? Why can't I get it to line up? Okay, now we connect that up to the storage device. I kind of want to turn it around though. Can I be that crazy and turn it around? I did it, guys. I turned it around. Isn't that cool? That goes down in a weird slope. That bothers me, but it's fine. Now we can take copper ingot and turn it into wire. And that wire goes into here, and everything's great. Now we just need to power it all, which is not the great part. This place looks so good at night. It's a completely different color. Look at that. <gasps> Look at all the moons, though. One, two. I just see two moons, though, but that's fine. Possibly a third moon. I don't know. I'm guessing that's a planet, and that's a moon, and that's a planet. I don't know. It's beautiful, okay? But don't it be, like, extremely freezing right now? I mean, I don't know. I don't know how science works. Okay, I'm gonna put a centralized biomass burner right up here. Now, you do need to know that they have... Over there, they have a power stat for how much power they produce. What am I saying? And that means that if you look at these machines, 5 megawatts plus 4 is 9 plus 4 is 13. So that's less than half, which means I can power both these machines and these upcoming machines. So that should be fine. Okay, that connects all of those together. Now we just need to create biomass and chuck all the biomass into this machine. And now all of these are functional and they should be producing wire, I think. The ore comes out of here, goes into the smelter, gets burnt, smelted, I guess, I don't know. And comes out in a block for some reason as an ingot. And then comes into this machine and gets welded or something, I don't know. But comes out as wire somehow. I don't know how it works. It's probably how real life machines work. I've never been to a factory. Actually, I, I worked in a factory. But yeah, and there we go, that makes that. And it takes a pretty long time to get a 1,500 is what we needed. Yeah, 1,500. As you can see, it takes 15 per minute and it creates 30 per minute. I, I, I don't know. As I've said, it's gonna take really long, but that's fine. Next, we should do the iron automation. I think I could do everything by hand though. Uh, 400 and 250, that's not too bad. I'll do that by hand. I'm gonna go check on the concrete because 500 concrete is a lot. And we're on 200 right now, okay. For now, I'm just gonna go back to crafting all the iron things by hand because by the time I'm done with that, this should be pretty far. Yeah, we're in 100 right now. <laughs> okay, that's gonna take so long. But uh, well, that's busy cooking, I'm gonna start creating all of these iron ingots. Now, this is gonna take pretty long. I'll, I'll see you in like one swipe transition. Damn, swipe transitions are cringy as hell and pretty old, but at least we got done what we needed to do. We got almost 300 of that. And if you look here, you'll see we need 400 and 250 plates. So we're not even close to that yet. But that does mean that we can do something different for a change. Nothing that you've seen in this episode so far. This is gonna be crazy, just, just year me out. Now we can create exactly what we created here, but this side for iron. Isn't that interesting? I think it's interesting. So first we need a miner and and some of those. So I'm just gonna put this in the to-do list. We need that, we need that, we need a constructor and storage. So I'm gonna quickly run down to this storage and see how we're doing there. 200, okay. We're sitting on 300, we're not, we're not close to 1,500, but that's okay, there's still enough time. So all I need are a few more iron plates and we can set up a completely automated iron mine thing. Not really completely automated because the power isn't fully automated yet, but soon enough, hopefully the next episode we'll be able to unlock all the coal potential. That's, that's what I want to grind for. I just want to get to coal. I hate the stupid biomass. This, this biomass era, it sucks. Okay, with that we can set up a miner going that way. And let's make this one unique. Let's have a smelter coming down here. Okay, screw the unique smelter. The smelter goes here. There we go. That's a 
very weird shape. What is going on? Finally, it, it connects in a way, okay. Then we've got the constructor, which will be turning around and facing back that way. And then from that constructor, we have the storage. Perfect. Okay, now we can check up on the other stuff, like uh, these, which are taking pretty long. We're almost one third of the way there. That's not too bad. I'm going to get more biofuel and, or biomass to fill up these things because they're going to run low really quickly. And back here at the concrete, we have another 200. We're pretty close to the 500 mark. And judging by how long the wire is taking, we can probably finish the base building. So now I can just handcraft a couple more things and that should help put us in the lead a bit because as you can see, we can already make 200 wire over here. Plus all of this will easily put us over the mark we need for the wire. Then it's just a little bit of an iron grind. What transition are we feeling now? Maybe a, maybe a weird shape, like a diamond shape transition? Damn, wasn't that a good transition? Yeah, it was. Anyways, now we're pretty close to having all the wire we need. We just need another like 300. And this should be finished. This, I don't know how that's doing. Let's check up on that. Right over here. Yeah, we have not enough, not, not enough yet, no. But pretty close, 200. Uh, out of 250, so another 50 to go. And just some more rods, which I'll have to handcraft one last time. If we look in, yeah, though, does that put us over the end? Very close, we can come back to that. And now we just go and check up on the concrete. Actually, I need to refuel this thing. Also, something I haven't mentioned is the sliding in this game. It is absolutely fantastic. You just hold C and you slide, and you can jump after sliding to get some height. And you can just travel like this, and it's really fun. I do it all the time. And if you're wondering what's going on every time I jump, it's because I'm traveling like this and it's it's so satisfying. Looking at the concrete, we have more than enough. So now, what I'm thinking we do, I don't think we, yeah, we don't have enough to finish the base building because you need 140, not 40. But I can definitely do the space elevator. And for the last transition of the day, I think we should do maybe a, I don't know, maybe a fade to color type thing. Okay, that is by far the cringiest transition I've ever used and ever seen. And I don't know who would still use that. It is disgusting. But ladies and gentlemen, I think we now have what it takes. We do. It is time to build this massive behemoth space elevator. I'm just going to put it right here. And we need to appreciate how do I, how do I hide the mouse? It doesn't want to hide. Um, wait, we're kind of missing the whole show. What am I doing? There we go. We can now experience the full space elevator building from a pretty cool standpoint, I think. I don't know. I'm just going to keep quiet. I just broke the camera. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's one of the f one of my most favorite animations in the entire game. My other favorite animation is when this thing takes off, which I haven't shown you guys yet. I need to show you that real quick. And there we go, once you add all the things into here, you get to press the big red launch button. And with the launch, this thing flies off. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. And then it just goes off into space and comes back in a few minutes. Um, but with that you get to unlock things like a lookout tower and foundations and all the new things that you unlocked. And if you don't know what the space elevator is, this is basically how you unlock more tiers or like newer technologies and better technologies. As you can see, this is where the big grind comes in. For example, 50 smart plating isn't too bad. I'll touch on that in the next episode. I think we need the assembler for that, which is this side. Yeah, all of these things, copper sheets and modular frames and right there, uh, this stuff, smart plating. So I think I'll touch on that in the next episode and see if we can unlock tier three and four. Off camera, I might just do a couple of these things. These aren't really big things. It's just things like the chainsaw, jump pads, and just upgraded things. Nothing too major. And there he's coming back now. As you can see, he drops in from space. Possibly hits the space elevator, but that's okay. And lands back down. It's very cool. But yeah, I'm pretty proud of what we achieved in this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like in the video. 
and consider subscribing. It'll mean a lot to me. This is going to be a really fun series. I can already see it. I absolutely love this game and I'm ready to put another 400 hours into this game. So Milestone exchange concluded. I, thank, you. I, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.